Talk to a local alum in the latest edition of Alumni in Your Community. Hi, I'm Henry Bousquet, a graduate of BCC, class of 1998. Bedford, um, like the 80s, 90s type era, um, and you know, rode my bike everywhere and got to see the city, you know, from uh, from two wheels, so to speak. I've always enjoyed living here. It's uh, the place I think I always intended to make my home. I was uh, a student at Greater New Bedford Vote Tech, and uh, I graduated there in 1994 as a, a culinary arts student. And I got to tell you, being part of that Vote Tech family. Uh, has been extremely beneficial to me. It's, it's, it's helped me build some ties locally. Um, I also, you know, I got a, a lot of opportunities in the uh, workforce. Uh, once I graduated from there, uh, I went to work for uh, my, actually he was my culinary arts instructor. Uh, he taught all the theory classes and he was also a sous chef at a restaurant in Westport called uh, Kate Corey's at Bittersweet Farm. And uh, I had an excellent experience there uh, working with him and uh, a few of the other guys that worked with us uh, weren't, weren't as uh, into it, I think, as he was. Uh, and they made me wonder, had I chosen the right path? And I think that that's how uh, I became interested in furthering my education. And uh, I chose Bristol Community College as, um, as the, sort of the, the leap into furthering my education. I worked my way into BCC and uh, I really enjoyed my time there. I got involved in the community as a member of uh, the staff at The Observer. Uh, because I was following a communications path at the time uh, and enjoyed actually the entire my entire time at BCC as a, a, a full-fledged staff member. At one point I worked as like the assistant editor. Um, we were running stories and getting advertisement for the paper. It was really a, a fun and sort of family building opportunity for me. I met a lot of lifelong friends actually at Bristol Community College. Uh, when I graduated in 1998 from BCC, I went to uh, Bridgewater State College. It was my transfer college. Uh, and my first semester there, I found a flyer saying that they were, uh, Walt Disney World college program would be coming to campus. So I went and sat in on the informational session. It was exciting and fun to listen to the guys from Disney. Joe Smith, the guy that interviewed, one of the, the major guys, the recruiters, uh, said to us, you know, well actually he said to me, Look, Henry, I like your application. Uh, what if I, because I had written, being a communications major, that I'd like to work uh, writing, you know, running one of the rides or doing something like that, uh, being part of the theater aspect of Disney. Uh, he said, what if I told you that you're definitely going to go to Walt Disney World if you can go as a cook because of my background as a, as a cook and a culinary arts major. Uh, so I sort of like wiggled in my seat a little bit and I said, I guess so, if that means I get to go. After I came back from uh, Walt Disney World, uh, I was here to help my grandmother take care of my grandfather who was ailing. Um, I found a job uh, working at the, the 99 in uh, Dartmouth, uh, which was a very busy restaurant. It was my first real opportunity, other than Disney, working in a very high-paced kitchen. From there, I got an opportunity as a suit to uh, be the sous chef at the Country Club in New Bedford. I took that opportunity, really enjoyed that. It was a little more management, a little more uh, learning how to order and do inventory and stuff like that. And from that point, I took on another opportunity where I got to purchase my own little breakfast restaurant in the North End of Bedford. It was a 48 seat place and uh, we served breakfast fare from five in the morning to two in the afternoon. Uh, and it was really just me and one waitress. And we worked our butts off and I grew the place to where I needed a, a partner on the weekends to help out in the kitchen and uh, three girls on the floor and a dishwasher. We were very busy. Worked there for three years, sort of building a reputation for myself and building a business and then saw another opportunity to sell that business, turn it over and buy a bigger place here in downtown New Bedford. And that's sort of what I ended up doing when I bought Cobblestone Restaurant. Uh, and I ran that for four years. And uh, you know, it, it was sort of in the pocket when downtown was just starting to emerge as a place to be and not quite there with the population. Um, it was probably the year after BCC established itself down here. And uh, I was just sort of, the whole place was just starting to wake up, you know? Um, and I didn't do as well as I thought I would. There were some things, you know, I made business mistakes. Let's face it, I was, you know, just pretty new to the whole running your own show type thing. My experience at Cobblestone was wonderful. Um, and it sort of reminded me of BCC because it was very, 
uh, it was very family oriented. You know, I got to know a lot of the guests. Uh, we sort of built very close ties with one another. I got an opportunity to really invest in the community by being involved in different uh, activities that happened here downtown and across the city. Uh, from there, I went to work part time as a substitute teacher at Greater Bedford Vote Tech. And that sort of is what solidified for me what would be the ideal job for Henry Bousquet, uh, you know, uh, BCC grad and, uh, you know, just the, the, the kind of thing that is, would, would really marry my two loves, people and my passion for food and customer service. As a, as a culinary arts instructor, I'm with my students seven hours a day, uh, nearly seven hours a day where you know your traditional teacher spends 30 to 35 to 42 minutes a day with their students and they have like 350 students i have 40 kids and i see them in uh, nine day cycles i see 21 kids every nine days and it's the same uh, 42 kids i pretty much get to know them better than their parents get to know them <laughs> i teach the sophomores and the first half of freshman year so I teach, like, the, after the kids come out of exploratory, I teach freshmen. I just all the introductory technique and uh, very basic safety sanitation stuff. And then I pick them up sophomore year again. I have them for the first half of the year there. And we learn a little bit more in-depth, some butchery and some things like that. Uh, and all the while, I try to coax them into thinking or coax them into believing that they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, and, you know, and, and definitely, you know, one of the things we do is we instill in them that you know they should definitely consider higher education uh, if you know if they want to you know further themselves and be successful. So uh, we actually have a student at BCC right now who's in the Your Culinary Arts program, uh, and I hear she's doing quite well. Uh, her name is Kayla, and she's from what I hear she's doing an excellent job there. So um, I can't wait to reconnect with her and see how things are going there. You know, um, other than that, that that's sort of how you know, how I got to where I am and, and why I love it so much.